Oh my god! Is this real? Holy shit! Are you serious? Um, yes! <laughs> you remember it on me? Is it my size? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! We're engaged! Oh my gosh, we're engaged. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, we're engaged! Oh my god! We're getting married! I love you. Oh my god. This was my TikTok vlog footage right before I got engaged and I had no idea. We went to the Imperial Sand Dunes and yes, the photo shoot was already set up. I wanted to do this Jasmine Aladdin theme for a while and um, he knew that I was going to be glam that day. So I guess that's why he decided to propose. Plus he got the ring that morning so he said he just couldn't wait. But I loved it. I loved our whole aesthetic. I loved the way we look. These were absolutely beautiful. These are only a four hour drive if you're in California so they're very close. And yeah, unbeknownst to me was I going to get this amazing ring and I was going to leave a fiance. This was our drive back and I was just absolutely enamored with my ring and the love of my life. My future husband. Noises. Thank you guys for all the love today. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm so excited. This journey has been amazing. Love you guys. Definitely this. So I'll put the full, maybe I'll put the full unedited version. I have like the short clip of him proposing on my YouTube. Maybe I'll put the full on. But um, he started by saying like we were standing up he goes so I, I talked to your dad this morning and I was like what like it was so confusing because like obviously we hang out with my dad and stuff like that um but it was like so confusing but then the ATV started being really loud so it was kind of like this pause and he's like I talked to your dad and he's still like trying to say it and I was like I was still so confused and um then that's when he like went down on one knee and I was just like oh my gosh but yeah that totally surprised me my dad already knew we called him he was so happy and um and he's going back to bed. There he is, my fiance. Woo! <laughs> and yeah, so he called my dad and I was like really excited. And I was like, wow, that's so crazy. And my dad's like, oh yeah, that made me so happy. They had like this conversation, like said really like deep stuff to each other. And then when we talked after, he was like so excited and told my whole family. So I thought that was really, really cute too. I love this comment so much. I think it's so sweet, but I would like to say that I'm more peaceful in love rather than crazy in love. I've been crazy in love where it literally drives you insane and it makes you feel all the toxic roller coaster of emotions. And this is the first time where I feel just peace and happy knowing every day I wake up next to him, every day he comes home to me and we just truly love each other. And he doesn't send me in tailspins and makes my head go crazy and, you know, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I love this comment. I get the sentiment, but I'd like to say we are stable in love, peaceful in love joyful in love happy in love not crazy in love because crazy is is not good i used to be attracted to toxicity and chaos and this is the first time i have calmness peace and understanding and it feels so good i, I didn't accept it at first but now it feels so good and i'm so happy i let that in Okay, so not to make this about my second Instagram, I have a backup Instagram because my Instagram got deleted this week, which was like really bad timing. I was just like, really? Mm, it's okay, it's fine. Um, I have Trisha Paytas backup. That's my second Instagram where I posted the professional photos. And then like three days later, um, I got press on nails because <laughs> I really didn't like my nails in the picture. And then we did like normal glam at the beach. So those photos will also be posted maybe tomorrow or Sunday or something. Um, and then we'll probably do... <laughs> another set of photos because now I have like my nails by Sean Legend these like white quartz ones which I love so we'll probably end up doing another photo shoot at some point but um yeah you can see the professional ones on my Instagram at Trisha Paytas Backup it only has 114,000 followers right now so I definitely interact a lot on there and answer the DMs but yeah they turned out really good I'm really happy Love the theme of the room. Show it all, please. And one of my favorite TikTokers voice, Jasmine Chiswell. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a Beetlejuice-themed room. We are going to be transferring some of the Beetlejuice-themed into the new house. Not the bedroom, but, yeah, this is the room. Um, I got these lamps off Etsy, that painting off Etsy, and the dresser of Etsy. Etsy has so much Beetlejuice things, and also that restroom sign that fell down is from Etsy. This is messy because we are moving, but yeah, that Beetlejuice sign lights up and that's from my music video. We got the walls painted stripes. That's still for my birthday where we turn it into like Broadway Beetlejuice and that book bag is from Hot Topic. Most of my Beetlejuice like accessories are from Hot Topic. Um, that cardboard cutout was from like a Halloween store and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This giant sandworm is like my favorite thing and that's from Etsy. 
This was from a Halloween store, and that was a Halloween store, and Etsy, and Hot Topic. <laughs> the ring is so good. Oh my god, I'm so proud of it. I, like, he designed it. Moses designed it. He did such a good job. Like I said, we're gonna do a full, he's, like, just waking up, but, like, we're doing a full, if you guys want, like, a full, like, story time, we'll probably do it, because, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm engaged, so, yeah, and then I'll insert a video, um, like, when he got it in the box. Okay, so not to be that person because honestly, like I think reality TV is like so silly, but I would totally be on say yes to the dress and anything else wedding themed. I thought that would be so much fun. Um, obviously, like I don't care. It's still gonna be a bomb wedding no matter what, and I'm still gonna go crazy and do the planning. But um, yeah, if anyone knows anyone that say yes to the dress, I'm so down because my dress is gonna be so iconic. It's not gonna be white. It's not gonna be pink. It's gonna be something really, really cool. So um, yeah, let me know. <laughs> I'll be on those shows because. I'm getting married once, and it's going to be big, and it's going to be huge. Actually, we're probably going to get married three times, so we're probably going to have three weddings, but a big, big one here in L.A. I mean, three weddings for us. Three, oh, yeah, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> not three weddings. We're doing three weddings. So, um, yeah, hopefully L.A., Israel, and a secret location. So, yeah, if you, if you guys know, let, uh, we'll be on a show or not. We'll just do it on YouTube, too. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but, yeah, I would totally love to be on something like this. So we got engaged at a place called the Imperial Sand Dunes. It's like a place mostly for like ATV people to go. Like there was like a ton of them there. Um, I just always thought it was really pretty. I thought it was like a photo shoot place. I was expecting to like show up and like, everyone would be doing photo shoots, but that really wasn't the case. It was definitely for ATVs and you should definitely bring a flag because one of the ATV crews were like, do you guys have a flag? Because you could just get hit and pummeled if like an ATV comes flying over. So luckily we had our photographer there who was kind of like, he's really tall. So he was like, well, he made sure like people weren't coming around. Of course, everyone came around right when the proposal started, but it was really Really pretty and it wasn't like that crazy to take photos or anything like that you just need to get a permit along the way um but yeah it was really pretty and then we spent the night because it's like four hours away from where we live but we spent the night at a fair fairfield in marriott and ordered johnny carinos because that's the only thing open they did not give us forks um the pizza was mediocre but it was really fun we facetimed family and stuff after and it was so good and then we had mcdonald's the next day so it's pretty fun and this is where being a troll is not fun because I totally get it. Like, I've faked a wedding and obviously my engagement to a cardboard bride pit or whatever. But, um, yeah, this is real. This is, like, we told our family. He called my dad. Like, um, this is real. <laughs> um, yeah, it's real. It's happening. I mean, we, we bought a house together at the beginning of this month. And um, we're waiting to move in there pretty soon, actually. So, it's that to me already felt like a commitment I needed from the person I was dating and like it's never ha that's never happened to me so like that alone I was like okay you know what I'm cool like I don't need to like stress as much about like we need to get married we had to have a baby but now I'm like oh my god we're getting married this is more just like a celebration of that because like we were already committed and already like with each other but this is like now a party and um also I just feel so fancy being a fiance so the wedding will probably happen, hopefully, most likely next year. Um, obviously, COVID pending, and I'm sure a lot of places are backed up. But we're trying to get married at a unique time of year that maybe isn't so popular just because we want to. But yeah, hopefully sometime next year because we both did wait quite a while till we got engaged and married. So yeah, we're going to move into our house early next year, which is good anyways. So hopefully vaccines and stuff can get out, and then hopefully within the next year um or early 2022 but definitely don't want to wait definitely just want to have like a celebration because you know we got a lot to do like have a babies like six or seven of them so we need to get on it you know we need to we need to make it right in the eyes of god <laughs> i'm just kidding no if we had a baby right now i'd be really happy but um yeah. getting the house moving and then the wedding but you know it's gonna be soon i'm already planning it we're already planning it <laughs> <laughs> So I've seen this comment a lot, um, and yeah, I think at one point I really did want a Disney wedding. I thought that would be a fairy tale, but I, like, if I've already thought that in my head with, like, somebody else, I don't want that wedding theme anymore. Like, that dies with that person. So as much as I love Disney, and I think Disney-themed weddings are still cool, that was, like, in my head with, like, somebody else, and that person's toxic and crap and all that stuff. So it's like, mm, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. So I had a whole different idea when I met 
my fiance this man right here and i'm so excited that he's excited about it too well and i just think it fits us so much better and yeah i mean obviously i don't want to give it away but obviously it's gonna be way different than i've ever talked about or anything i've ever dreamed of because obviously i never dreamed of him well i did <laughs> i just didn't know what he would look like or feel like or sound like but um yeah so yeah i like the idea of that but not for me anymore and this new idea is even better and more inspired here. <laughs> so I'm scanning Twitter looking for people who are not even at mentioning me because you know I want to see what people are saying and I found this from uh I guess oh so that was like the day after our proposal our proposal is 12 18 so this was actually on the way to our proposal and like one my first initial act like thought was like oh that's really creepy I was like sleeping and alone in a car at the gas station obviously Moses was pumping gas so he was like by me but kind of creepy however this is the day of my proposal, which I did not know. This was us driving on the road trip. And clearly it was a surprise because I'm sleeping in my makeup and hair. And if I thought for a minute that I was going to get proposed to, I definitely would not be sleeping. I pretty much slept the whole way. And yeah, I felt really bad about it because he was like, you can listen to, like the day of the proposal, he's like, listen to any music you want on the way. And I was like listening to my chemical romance. And then I fell asleep after eating a McDonald's breakfast. Okay, but this is like so, it's, kind of, it's creepy, but also like cute. It's like it's the day of my engagement. I didn't know know that i was getting engaged with i don't mm. oh well, i love that this question is asked um this is how we met and the first time that i mentioned moses and yeah anyway we don't need to breathe can i just say yeah i uh, thought i don't know if i can say this and you can cut it if i'm not supposed to say this but i was li like low-key hope because originally I was pitched the idea to come on as a contestant and Ela's brother's going to be The Bachelor. And then I thought maybe he would apply to be on My Bachelor. He was supposed to. I don't know what happened. happened. He I said that he wanted to apply. So I found his Instagram. It's fine. I'll we could take a last minute su uh, submission. I don't he know said he, he wanted to. I think he's he's honestly super busy. He's like a fucking mega hard work. He's like a... He should make time though, right? He should make, he should make time. time. He looked so hot. I was like low key impressed. I was like, holy shit. Let, we'll make he like he, he's like we'll, strikingly hot. Okay, we'll make sure he gets in. We'll take a look. So yes and no to this. Obviously, I did not think it would be this year. I thought because we just got like our dream house that we both put like a lot of work into and stuff and like saved for like a while to get. So I did not think it was going to be so soon because we we were just closing the house this month and um yeah we didn't really have any christmas plans and i feel like it was like he knew i wanted to be glam and stuff so we didn't have anywhere to go or be um i thought maybe valentine's day because obviously we talked about getting married but i just didn't know what maybe valentine's day or like our anniversary or something so i definitely did not expect it to be um so soon like i said we'll do a full story time where i'm like like how it happened like so quickly um the process of it all but i was super happy and like we always talked about getting married and we knew we were going to get married and it's just kind of nice to have this as a little like reminder so yes yeah, so we've been engaged for a week so i got we got engaged literally a week ago from today and we just like it was kind of like late in the day we got engaged on friday so we just like went to a hotel and like called all our family and friends and um I was just like in bliss that night like literally could not believe it we I wasn't even on social media at all that night like just because like I just wasn't and like the next day I woke up and it still felt like a dream and I woke up with this so like it just yeah I don't know and then um I had planned like a sponsored video on Monday and then I had a music video released on Wednesday so it just kind of seemed fitting to tell you guys on Christmas I didn't want it to get like the announcement and then also like a sponsored video so this just felt right end of the year is a good good way to wrap up the year um, but yeah, it was actually really hard keeping it a secret because, um, I just like wanted to show it off and scream it to the top of the world. So now I can, and now everything I post will be like this and all the pictures will be like this and just, you know, a lot of this. So <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, um, I guess that song is completely wrong because it looks like you can turn a hoe into a housewife. So I made butter noodles last night. I'm just, I'm just pretty wifey. I can assure you I had absolutely no idea. If I did, I probably would have gotten my nails done. I definitely would have gotten my nails done. I've got my nails done since. Um, yeah, the one was like even chipping. Um, it was a planned shoot because we wanted to go to the sand dunes and it was after a long day of music videos and it was right before Christmas. So we wanted to take like a little getaway. It was like four hour drive. And so like, obviously 
like I knew we were getting dressed up. I mean, I definitely didn't know it was proposal. I was doing Adam and Eve that morning. I was doing sponsorships and stuff. So I definitely did not know it was coming or staged. And I like couldn't have it any other way because I was just like, what? I was like so shocked. Um, but yeah, I will forever be proposed to as Princess Jasmine. And I think it was just really, really cool. And I'm really, uh, I'm really excited how it turned out. But yeah, definitely was not staged. I would have sucked in my belly more. I would have made sure I was lower. I would have made sure I was facing front. But like I said, it was all perfect anyways. Um, and I, I was, I was happy in the ATVs. What? Okay. So I know I was answering questions while he was downstairs making tea. And oh my gosh, congratulations LaCroix this morning. That is hubby material right there. Thank you. Oh my God. LaCroix in bed. This is Christmas morning. I'm so excited. Mm. They were engaged. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. I'm so excited. We're reading comments. We got engaged a week ago, and it still doesn't feel real, but now it really feels real because we're telling everybody. And, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Cheers. Look, cry and tea. <laughs> mm. And this is the Christmas miracle. I keep seeing these comments. I don't like her, but congratulations. And I know it's like maybe just like a trend in the comments or whatever, but um, it really is appreciated. Like, I know a lot of people don't like me and don't want me happy, but I've struggled so much mentally and emotionally and I feel like I've been like like just manipulated and screwed over a bunch of times and not to say I'm like the victim or whatever but like and also me just because of my mental health issues and stuff it's been really hard for me to keep relationships so like the fact that I like found someone and like he wants me and I want him and it's like you know we don't give up on each other like it, it just I I'm just really happy and I can like I thank you for just appreciating me being a little happy for once in my life i'm actually very happy and that's kind of why everything doesn't bother me like my instagram being deleted drama hate whatever nothing bothers me because i have him and i mean that's honestly the best gift i could ever ask for so thank you um this is very true and i've always like dreamt of being married because i liked the idea of commitment and stability but i truly never thought it was it was really going to happen for me and i was kind of coming to terms with that because i just i really felt like i just couldn't keep a relationship and I pushed away everybody and um I just like I'm so in love with like Moses he's the most patient kind person I've ever met and has really proved to me that he's like not going anywhere and it just it feels so nice and even before the engagement you know we bought a house together that was like a big commitment onto itself and I started feeling so much more comfortable and relaxed and at peace and not so like oh my god he's gonna leave me oh my god I need him to love me more like none of that and then when this came it just really was like wow like it just was it was like icing on a cake because like I said the house was already a commitment we went 50 50 on it and this he just did all on his own and I was just like So funny you say this. So last week we got engaged and I really started planning the wedding like right away. Actually, I've been planning the wedding before we even got engaged. And so funny you say that because I definitely, we definitely have agreed on a black and red themed wedding. I definitely don't want a traditional white wedding dress. And I definitely wanted to come down the aisle to like the orchestra version of um, Helena. Um, so yeah, he's pretty cool and pretty chill with it. So he's like, yeah, you know, whatever you want. And the other, well, there's so many unique things we want in our wedding, but that is definitely... That is definitely, like, on my list. I know that seems, like, crazy, but I have a really, really special, like, connection to that song, which just makes sense to walk down the aisle in. And, yeah. So, other surprise. Like, I like I said, I've been planning this wedding <laughs> since we met. Um, and we've been talking about a wedding. So, yeah. I knew the proposal was coming. I did not think it was going to be this year. We just bought a house. So I thought it was going to be, like, in the new house on Valentine's Day, on our anniversary. But, yeah, it happened. First of all, hi, guys. I'm engaged. Oh my gosh, this happened a week ago. This is a lot. But to answer this question, the costumes were originally for just a photo shoot. So we've done photo shoots before, um, just like for fun, like just for fun. But I've been wanting to do the sand dunes for a while and I thought it only made sense to go as like Aladdin and Jasmine and do, originally we we're going to do like Disney TikToks and like we ended up doing no Disney TikToks there because like we got there and then like this all happened. And we have like a whole story time. Like like at one point we weren't even going to be allowed to like film there. Like the cops came. It's a whole crazy thing. So if you want to see a story time on that, let us know. We could even do like a 60 second one here just real quick. Um, but yeah, that's what the costumes were originally for. I had a broken nail and I had no nails because I had just done a music video. So it was a complete, complete, complete surprise. And I definitely did not think I'd ever get proposed to in costume as Jasmine, but it was very fitting because it was a princess and I'm, I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. They're very, very unique in engagement photos and proposal photos. And I'm just still in shock.
Okay, so I've seen this one a lot, babe. What? <laughs> I feel like that YouTube couple. Hey, babe. <laughs> I love them. Um, they want to know why you were dressed as Jafar and not Aladdin. Because we're not the obvious story. <laughs> he also just knew I was getting glam, and he I don't think he really thought about the character storylines, did you? No, it wasn't. I mean, I was just happy to be in costume, too, because <laughs> usually you're glam, you're in costume, and I'm... No. So to answer your question, I don't think he was, he didn't, he wasn't thinking of like the Jasmine Jafar storyline or Jasmine Aladdin. He was just thinking, oh, we're in matching <laughs> costumes and we look pretty and we're in a pretty location and there was a photographer coming to shoot us. So mm -hmm. I think that, <laughs> although he likes to say, well, we go against the original story, but <laughs> in reality, he just knew I was getting glam and it was probably the last time I was going to get glam for the year. So I got that ring that morning, so couldn't wait. <laughs> Thank you for pointing this out. Yes, my hands get extremely dry and cracked in the winter time, and they do look really old. <laughs> I'm not 68, but thank you for saying my face looks young. I got a really um, heavy spray tan the night before, and spray tans usually fade, um, but this one definitely stuck. So I wasn't, I wasn't black facing. I was just getting a spray tan like I normally do. It just so happens to be jasmine. I get it, but yeah, I'm sorry, my hands look old. <laughs> It is what it is. This means so much to me. That's how I feel too. I feel like we were all on this journey together for a very long time. I made my life public and relationships public. And yes, his relationship is like somewhat public, but I like it because it's not like we vlog every day. He's not a vlogger. He also has a normal job. He's not normal, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I love him. And I think this has been really good. And I feel the same. I feel like it's been a journey. I think I was like coming to terms with like, maybe it would happen for me, especially when I started doing, you know, other stuff on the internet this year. I thought, well, nobody will take me seriously now and the judgment. And I got so much judgment just for all the stuff I did. And so I thought, oh, probably won't find somebody that will take me seriously. And I was kind of okay with that. But guess what? Something funny happens when you're okay with just being alone. Someone comes along and fucks it up with their love. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Me and them. You okay. and, and you. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> so you know that song? It's like, so there you go. Okay, make a wife out of a hoe. Well, yes, you freaking can. I just got the dream proposal, the dream ring, and the dream man. And guess what? A lot of people consider me a hoe. It's not that you're a hoe. It's just that these aren't real men. They're insecure, jealous little boys that judge you for doing the exact same thing they do. It's like the guy that judges the girl for sleeping with him on the first date. But hello, you're also sleeping with her on the first date. So remember, ladies, this is your reminder that you are not your body count. Go have sex with whoever you want or save your body. Do whatever you want. But a real man is not going to judge you for the way you express yourself sexually or otherwise. And guess what? You can make a housewife out of a hoe. And I'm super excited. I'm living proof. And oh my gosh, I'm getting married! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.